So if I had to start my Amazon business over with just a thousand dollars to start with and I had to go back to when I first started six years ago, what would I do? What's up everyone? My name's Garrett. I'm a full-time seven-figure Amazon seller. I've been selling full-time on Amazon for the last six years. I've built my business up to a multi-million dollar business. At this point, we're on track to do about three million dollars in gross sales this year. And a question I often get or a lot of people out there that are just getting started selling on Amazon, they don't have a lot of capital to work with, right? They might have a thousand bucks. So I wanna take all of the knowledge I've learned over the last six years and what I've turned into a multi-million dollar business, go back six years and say, hey, what would I do if I had a thousand bucks to start with? What would I do? What would my strategy be? And what would my game plan be overall to scale up to where I'm at again? But do it quicker than six years. So the first thing I would do if I was just getting started had a thousand bucks is first off I'd start by educating myself about actually selling on Amazon now there's a bunch of free resources out there on Instagram TikTok watch a ton of YouTube videos for free I'd first take you know at least a week of my time 20 plus hours get educated what's selling on Amazon and just really learn the lingo right about sales rank determine how to calculate profits, just really learn the ins and outs, how to source products. And if I had a little bit more money to my name, a little bit more than a thousand bucks, I'd consider investing in a course. I actually have one of my own. It's called the Arbitrage University. I'll link it down in the description. But if you have some extra cash, it's a lot easier to just purchase a course, learn what you need to learn, and then hit the ground running. So that would be like my first overall step is just get educated, right? Educate myself about the process of selling on Amazon. Now with a thousand bucks, that's not a ton of money to get started with because this is a physical products business and we have to purchase products in order to sell them. So what I would do if I was just starting out and I was just going out to purchase my first products is I would start off by selling used books. Now I would hit places like thrift stores, like the Goodwill. I'd go to library book sales. You can check out librarysalefinder.com, I believe is the website. You can find local library sales in your area. And I'd start off by purchasing cheap books anywhere from a dollar to $2 and then get the process going of selling those on Amazon. Now, the reason I'd start with used books again is because because I'm really gonna learn the process of listing a product on Amazon. I'm gonna learn the process of sending a shipment into Amazon. I'm gonna learn how repricing works. I'm gonna learn how to read Keepa, how to determine sales rank. I'm gonna learn just the overall process of selling on Amazon without risking too much of my initial thousand dollars on inventory, right? Because we're paying a dollar per book, two dollars per book, very low risk and very easy way to learn how to sell on Amazon and the ROIs on books can be insane. So you can flip that money relatively quickly. So with that out of the way, starting off with books, I would then move into retail arbitrage and online arbitrage. Now I would start off by getting ungated in some of the top brands like Nike, Adidas, all those top name brands that you're gonna be able to find a lot of product of. And the way you get ungated is you go to a website, maybe like Kohl's.com and you purchase 10 units from a brand that you wanna get ungated in. And then once you receive that package there will be an invoice in that box and you submit that to Amazon for approval for the brand and once you submit that you'll get approved across the entire brand not just for that one product so but if you're gonna do this make sure you're purchasing 10 or more units at least of the same exact product from the same brand okay guys so I'd start off by getting ungated in some of the top brands like Nike and Adidas I'd start off by doing some retail arbitrage, maybe even merchant fulfilling some products if I wanna turn that money quickly. I'd be hitting the outlet malls, I'd be shopping as many sales online as possible, and I'd really just be trying to find products with high ROI that have a fast turn rate. So we're gonna be looking for products with a very low ranking so we can get those products into Amazon, sell them as quickly as possible for the highest return, and get our money back and then rinse and repeat. So our goal with this is to really get that cash flow coming in, get our seed capital turning with a return on our investment and start growing our initial seed capital. And I do this until I hit at least five to $10,000 in capital that I have available to spend on product. And then I'd start dipping my toes in the final step of the process to scale my Amazon business, which would be the wholesale business model. Now the wholesale business model is with retail and online arbitrage, we're still selling name brand products, but we're kind of limited to how much 
inventory we can get. Whereas with wholesale, we're purchasing directly from brands or wholesalers and distributors. We can order a lot more product at a single time, which makes it a lot easier to scale once we find those winning products. So once I had five to $10,000, I would then start learning the wholesale process. I'd keep doing what I was doing with retail arbitrage and online arbitrage, trying to grow that and make as much money as possible from that. And I'd slowly start implementing wholesale into my business model until I could finally make that transition into a more wholesale heavy business on Amazon. And what that's gonna do for you is once you're more wholesale, you can order products a lot easier in bulk. You just have access to a lot more products. If you find a hot selling product, you can place an order for 500, 1,000 units versus with retail and online arbitrage, it's a little bit harder to get quantity in products. So that's why our main goal is to get to wholesale. But that's essentially what I would do if I was just starting off. I'd start off, let's re-go over exactly my strategy. I'd start off by getting educated, watching as much free content as possible, and if I had the extra money, I would invest in a course, right? From a reputable person that actually does what they're teaching you. Next, I would start off by selling used books just to learn the process of actually selling on Amazon. Then I'd transition into online arbitrage, retail arbitrage, and then I'd make that final move into wholesale and try to scale that further. So that's what I would do if I was just starting out with a thousand bucks. If you guys have any questions about each part of that process, because I know I just kind of briefly touched on it. If you guys want some more in-depth information about each different step of the process, let me know down in the comment section below. And if you're new to the channel and you're just getting started on your Amazon journey, check out a bunch of my other videos. I've made over 300 videos plus teaching you guys how to sell on Amazon and I produce content on a consistent basis. So definitely consider subscribing to the channel. That's gonna wrap it up for this one, guys, and I'll see you on the next video.